Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. I'm just getting a bit of uh, water on my brush. I'm using a graduate, a one inch graduate flat brush, flat brush. <laughs> a number one inch graduate flat wash brush, flat wash. It's for flat washing. Brilliant. You don't need to iron when you use this. <laughs> so, I'm going to be splish splashing a bit of water on this uh, paper, which is not actually paper. It is, in fact, what is it? It is a, a scrapbook that people use to make photo albums and things and scrapbooks, basically. So, we get some blue and white and throw a little bit of that in there get a little bit more water gonna slosh in a bit of a sky, a bit of burnt sienna bit of a ivory black So what's going on in this one? The sky, a bit of experimenting. Just want to go a little bit darker with the uh, the blue and black, black and blue, blue and black. So I'm doing this all wet in wet because I like the effects that you get as it all melts all together. Look at that ivory black. here and I'm going to let that dry a little bit so we've got that area I'm going to have a, a mountain <laughs> going to have a mountain got to have a mountain because the reference picture I'm using is actually when I was in the Lake District and uh, they have mountains they look pretty awesome. So for today we'll do something of a similar sort of look to that. Um, so I need some mountain colour. So let's get this this bluey uh, bluey black. And we want our mountain. Got it go sort of up here and then down there and across. So we've got some of this. Some of this colour in. Bring it down a bit where our mountain is. That's the 
slowly drying. The more black and the blue. Okay. So, there's that area. So what I might do now I'm going to get a bit of white on my brush and I'm going to start looking at where the mountain is. It sort of uh, goes... Hmm, actually maybe I don't want it to be too bright yet while it's while it's still drying. It's sort of here. It's like two peaks like that. Got a little bit of a uh, blue, blue and black. I can go. I can put in a bit of the uh, of the side. And then in front of this mountain, that's all the way back here. A bit of a bluey, bluey dark colour. Sort of let that melt together, and then we've got a uh, much more colour, much more blue and black in front of here. We've got another mountain, but it's more this this side of it looks here. And that sort of mists away as well. And you can see a few trees. A few little trees here and there. Some lighter areas where the snow's sort of on there. With a bit of a bluey white colour. Sort of missed that away a bit, a bit of the blue and white. Just using my finger, a bit of finger painting. Okay, 
I'll just leave that to dry. And uh, this area, we are, have actually got some trees and. Uh, so in the photo, actually, the trees look a bit rubbish <laughs> because they've got no leaves on and they look a bit boring. So uh, I'm going to change that. It's good to change photographs and I want a bit of light as well on the mountain. Yeah, because I'm just using them as reference. It's not the... be all end all of this illustration you have to use a photo you can use your imagination as well so I want this light can I hit zoom in and shing, hit some of these areas just behind there a bit hit that area as well down here there's a bit of light in there Wherever, wherever you want the light to hit, you put it in. Something like that. Got some light sparkling all over that. And it will start fading a little bit, but that doesn't matter too much. Because we just want a bit of light, really, to hit them mountains back there. So, trees in the foreground. So, what I'm going to do, get some real dark, real dark blue and black. This is a proper, proper wintry painting, isn't it? <laughs> blue and black. And we'll have our first tree. There. There, so I'm just going to do the corner of the brush. As you come down, you just press a bit harder. There's another tree there, about there. There's another one here. More that black and blue, blue and black. Another one, so we've got another one there, a bit bigger. Bit more water in my paint on that one. 
you get a, kind of a different effect. And another tree there. There is actually some sm smaller ones over this hill. There's a hill there, so... And then we got this here, in front of that. Now... Gonna get a little bit of that, get a bit of snow. There's a tiny bit of white, I mean, tiny bit of yellow in the white. It's not pure white. Cause I'm imagining, well, actually, we can imagine the sun is sort of gone and hit this. And I, I could put rocks and all sorts in if I wanted to, but what I really want is a bit of snow sort of hit some of these areas up here. A little bit duller, a little bit duller. Catch some of these branches, that's all with a bit of snow. <laughs> Don't want to get all of them.
something like that. A snowy area. Get a bit of blue and white. A bit of blue and white you can... Uh, a bit more blue. can put a bit more blue on the other side. <coughs> Just as a... <coughs> Just for the uh, cooler side. dark underneath maybe some of them areas I just need to re um, redarken the beauty of it isn't it you can keep going with these you can keep changing them and doing what you want to do and I might get a little bit of bright snow sort of hitting, hitting something here And that can sort of break away. It sort of brings this forward and pushes that bit back. And I can use this really bright snow to put on a few little, uh, little extra bits. And it's one side. Some snow up to that area. I might put a little bit of a, a snowy rock here. Just adds adds another area then. <laughs> it's another area, so we keep going back into the background. So uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed doing that one. Nice little snowy scene. Quite quite quick. I'm tempted to put someone in it. <laughs> Where would somebody be? Sure. Someone was in this. Actually, I wouldn't mind softening this area here. And I think what I will do is I'll put a little bird in the sky up here. It's catching the light. Might as well put three in just to make it. Yeah. 
それはなこれは A little bit of snow on these trees as well. Keep it quite loose because they're quite far away. On this one, yeah, you can come with a little brush and put in all kinds of little details if you want to. You can get your trees, give, give it a little bit more. I think, I think I'll call the snowy scene finished. I can't say I've seen a great deal of snow this year so far, but you never know. <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> Probably happen in the summer. A bit of a twig there. Maybe another one there. little details there. Uh. Yeah, and I will call that one finished. So thanks very much for watching this uh, fun little landscape. Good one to try uh, if you wanted to. I'm still looking and thinking, mm. <laughs> that mountain looks like it could do with a little bit more brightness on it, right there. So it's kind of faded a bit, hasn't it? So just a hint more. Do I make it snow? <laughs> or should we have this one after the snow? Maybe we'll have this after the snow. We won't we won't make this one snow today. As it dries, you can, you sort of see things that you can soften, or maybe you want to make a bit more harsh. You want to add a little bit more in. I could put a tree in there, look. Just make it more faded than the others. Maybe I could put one there as well. Got a few trees there now, <laughs> but yeah, you can keep going, keep putting in details. Maybe you want someone in there. Uh, I was tempted to put someone in there, but um, I'm starting to feel like it's all it's needed, really. Maybe those could have been three people rather than three trees. <laughs> but you do whatever you like in your painting, and uh, I'll say thanks very much for watching this one, and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.